Hello, today on my Charbroil Commercial True Infrared, I bought the Charbroil Rotisserie kit. I've got myself a nice Purdue oven stuffer roaster, got the popper in it, uh, seasoned with my favorite rubs. I like Montreal, I like lemon pepper, I like smoked paprika, uh, coarse pepper grinder, salt. Um, the bird is injected with uh, some melted butter blended with Sunny Delight orange juice and garlic powder and that's injected all over the bird and this bird was injected and rubbed probably about I'm gonna say an hour and a half to two hours ago so it's been sitting refrigerated covered until now I've got the spit through it now I'm getting ready to put it on my preheated charbroil grill um, I put it on full high because Full high will get my smoke tube going. Now I'm going to use uh, applewood pellets from my Pit Boss Pellet Grill Pellet Supply. Applewood is a really good flavor for chicken, so is um, fruit wood or hickory, but today I'm going to do the applewood. So let's get this bird on and let's get it rotating. Okay, I set my bird up inside the grill. I've attached it to my rotisserie. Let's turn it on and watch it turn. Ultimately what I want to make sure is that the bird rotating around doesn't have to drag the bottom too much. Look at that. I mean I'm just right there clearing it. So I probably could have done a little bit better centering but at the same time I'm not too worried about those pieces touching. Um, I have a Ronco rotisserie and <laughs> These things touch all the time, so not really worried about it. See you guys in a couple hours. Just catching up here. I'm about a half hour in on my rotisserie attachment to my Charbroil grill. It is a Charbroil brand rotisserie attachment. Um, I'm telling you, I love this grill. I preheated it, I got it really hot because I used it to get my smoke tube started. If anybody can see the smoke rising, that's from my smoke tube. I'm doing a smoke infusion inside. This infrared grill will light that smoke tube just by putting it on high heat. No direct flame needed, it gets my pellets going. I'm just going to do a sneak peek and see how it's going inside here. So let's take a look. This is 30 minutes in on a rotisserie chicken. Oh my gosh, thing looks fabulous. Rotating perfect. Charbroil. Charbroil commercial true infrared. Doing a rotisserie chicken today. I'm one hour in. This thing is still holding right around 350 degrees as set. I am using the rotisserie brand, or a Charbroil brand rotisserie attachment. It was a direct mount. I've got my homemade smoke tube in there. Look at that bird go. It is fantastic looking. Smoke tube is roaring. Charbroil. I'll be the first to tell you, it's a name you can trust. All right, rotisserie chicken coming up on the two-hour mark. Um, I'm hoping to pull this up and find my popper is out. The grill's still right around 350. It held it so far the whole two hours. So let's see what I'm getting here. Oh, the bird looks fantastic. Well, there's the popper. Unfortunately, it's still in. But at the same time, at least I can't say to myself, I wonder how long it's been out. So... Over the next several minutes, I'm going to keep a close eye on it and try to catch it right when it comes. All right, still hanging around about two hours and ten minutes. Let's check our popper. Oh, look at that. Popper is up. This bird is done. I'm going to let it come on around and just let everybody take a look. Pardon my twist in the camera, but it matters. Look at that chicken. I did use a string to hold its legs together and its wings, but wow, get a load of this bird. 
drumsticks pulled up nice. They're going to be so plump. Let me tell you, this bird was injected with Sunny Delight orange juice, butter, and garlic powder blend. And then I poured the rest all over it. And then I put uh, black pepper, some roasted garlic and herb, dry seasoning, and rosemary on it with smoked paprika. All right, let's give it about 15 minutes of rest and then get it carved. 